So, this video is going to be a bookshelf scavenger hunt. As you can see, this is my bookshelf. And yes, I'm. It's a different, like, uh, position or something. It's a different, different view for you. So, you can see fully my bookshelf right besides me or like so yeah so this is a scavenger hunt the scaven bookshelf scavenger hunt tag so yeah let's get into it so the first um thing i need to find i don't know I'll bring you closer to my bookshelf. Maybe that's a bit better for you. So yeah, I need to find a classic, which I only have one, thanks to Alcrate. So it's not really hard for me. And it's Frankenstein that I got in a uh, Alcrate box, which is this one. So yeah, it's cute. I don't, I didn't read it and yeah I don't I know what it's about but I don't know that much to be quite honest I know I know Frankenstein since it's like a classics called classic but yeah so this is the book this is my only classic so it's not really hard so yeah I'll go put it back So, the other prompt is find the author name or title with a Z or a Z if you're not Canadian in it, which I don't think I have, to be honest. Z. Hmm. I think since... I do have my bookshelf right here, but I do have like, you don't know, but it's a book cart right besides me. And with the Z, I really don't know. I don't think there is in my bookshelf? No. So, my bookshelf. What does Z? It's hard. I think I got one. I think it's a new one. I need to. That's the joy of having pup. It's Hiron Widow by Xiran J. Zhao. Which I got my Z right here. So yeah, this one uh, is a, a new book that I got, but it's um, I still haven't read it. So I don't really know what it's about, except there is, I think, polyamory in this, and it's LGBTQ+. So that got me interested, and it's Asian mythology inspired, so I like this kind of book. So yeah. I got it. Um, the next is I need to find a book with a key on it. Which that might be hard. With a key. I have a lot of things with... I don't know. Is it a key? I don't know if it's a key. Oh yeah! I got it. I got it. It's the Bone Shard Daughter, which this is a key. In my opinion, it's a key. It looks like a key. I think I'm gonna go with it's a key. I don't know. It looks like a key right here. I don't think I have a fully a key on it. I do have a lot of baggers though, and crown with a key on it. 
I'm gonna go with this one. This has a key on it, and Bone Child Daughter. For me, this is a key. I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, it's a key. It's a key. So, uh, find something on your bookshelf that is not a book, which is so easy for me since I have a ton of Funko Pop. And I do have mugs, a mug, which is a Hedwig mug, which is inspired the uh, Harry Potter thing with bookmark. And I have a sea salt lamp, which it's always, I, it's always a light up. And I do have a lot of pop, so it's easy. I'm gonna go with uh, this one since I already got it. It was supposed to go there. So yeah. This is Black Widow. It's the OG classic Black Widow look from the comics. And yeah. So, Funko Pop. It's easy. And I do have a plant. I don't know. Yeah. Plant right here. I, I find it cute. I don't know. So yeah. It's easy. This one was easy. Uh, find the oldest book on your shelf. The oldest book I have. Or the oldest book I no. I'm gonna go with the oldest book on my shelf, which is probably, I don't know, I don't know which one came first, but it's easy. I'm gonna go with this one. Since a lot of you know, I'm French Canadian, so my two bottom shelf or book in French and I think my oldest book on my bookshelf was Vampire Diaries but in French it is the first one and yeah I have the whole collection I got the fourth like the one the second the third and the fourth one like all in a bundle for like five dollar so I was quite happy to snatch it up and I fell in love with it it's really nice. And now I have the 11th. Like, all 11th of them I do have. So, it's cool. I did read it when I was younger. Which I don't know. But I think it's YA, which is good. I don't really know. I'm gonna guess. But, like, I was totally in love. With Damon, for real. I love him so much. So yeah, this one is my oldest book, probably. I'm gonna go. This or Harry Potter, the first Harry Potter. But I don't think the first one I have is the oldest, since I did have the like smaller version of the two, the th three first book, like the first three book. I did have the small version. I don't know. It reads in big. And it's small, it's weird. So yeah, this might be the closer to it, the closest. Does it fit? Yes, it does. So, the next. Apollo, don't you dare. Find a book with a girl on it, which is quite easy. I'm gonna go with the first one. That I see, it's Blood Leaf, and I can go with the second one, which is Greythorn, which is the same girl on it. I do, I think most of my books have girl on it, to be quite honest with you. I can go on full detail, but yeah, this is these are two books that my brother actually bought me for, I think, Christmas and my birthday or my birthday and christmas i'm not sure but yeah and i still haven't read them but i know the third one is coming out soon or it's it's already came out i don't know it was supposed to come apollo is sniffing my cacti are you dumb anyway so yeah these are my picks for this one Find a book that has an animal on it. 
which I can go a whole lot of way in. I don't know. It's easy. It's easy. I'm gonna go with Night House. This is a snake. This is the like why is snake that it's on every book that you that why book have like this snake is on I think Queen of Nothing too and no I don't know Kingdom of the Wicked no but yeah there is snake on almost everything like almost every book has a snake on it but yeah this one I like it it's quite simple and it's pretty and I know the second one is coming out too uh, and it has a dead bunny on it and it's white I'm gonna go put the picture right beside me it's quite um, something I'm gonna go with that but yeah I like it it's dark and it's hedgy just like I think this was too it's like new adult I think this one but yeah it's edgier than six of her or like shadow and bone which Lady Bardugo wrote. So yeah, snake on the sculpture. Oh, my cell phone is right here. Mm -mm. Find a book with a male protagonist. Uh, male protagonist. Male protagonist. Does it count if? It's dual POV. I'm gonna go with yes. So, hmm. I'm gonna go with Defy the Night, which I know the protagonist is a female, but it's dual POV. So you have two protagonists, which is one is a male and one is a female. What is a woman? But yeah, I read it. I liked it. I cannot wait for the second one. It's uh, I think it was a four star. It's great. I liked it. It's typical YA fantasy. So how can I not like it? It's easier to say the books I don't like that is YA fantasy. But anyway, so yeah, this one. Hey, I don't know his name. I'm not sure. Mm -mm -mm. Cory. I think his nickname is Cory, but it's not his full name. I'm not sure. It's Coric. Coric and the girl is Tessa. I believe. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm so good at remembering name. So, Coric is a male protagonist. So, I guess it counts. The next thing I want to find, find a book with only words on the cover. Which is quite hard, but I think I got my guess. Which is so hard to out and it's Turtle All the Way Down by John Green, which as you can see only has words on it. And yeah, I did have the luck to find a signed copy, which I wasn't even trying to. But yeah, it's a great book. I remember reading it. It's like contemporary. I don't know why it's it's kind of glossy underneath. That's so weird. Anyway. It's a great book. I liked it. It's a uh, Y contemporary, which is not usually my cup of tea. But yeah, I like this one. And it has only cover. Only words on the cover. So yeah. This fits the prompt. The next thing is uh, find a book with illustration in it, which uh, illustration does it need to be full illustration? 
I guess I'm gonna go with I sure have so many books but yeah uh, I'm gonna go find illustration to show you are you freaking kidding me I know there is yeah Gallant by V. Schwab and a lot of the page are like have this kind of gothic illustration and the end pages are illustrated too and some of the pages are like book in a book so I like it it's quite pretty it's spooky-ish and the illustration in it fits the prompt and fits the vibe they're trying to set. It's pretty. I like it. So yeah, Gallon by Vicky Schwab and this one is the uh, Elma Crate exclusive one. So that's why it's so pretty with the wraparound edges and the it's on the same cover and the exclusive end paper. Yeah. So this one has an illustration in it. So it fits. Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. Find a book with gold lettering. So easy. So easy. Gold lettering. I could show you Kingdom of the Wicked. Is it gold? You can consider it this gold. We Hunt the Flame, which is kind of a darker gold. Uh, I don't know if this fits, but it's kind of pale yellow to kill a kingdom. The Storm Crow is gold. It's not foil, but it's gold. Shall I go on? It's so easy. When you find a YA fantasy book, it's almost gold or like white-ish like this white-ish and the second one I do have still the, the price on this one yeah but fierce isn't gold it's so easy like do you take me for a beginner I think not so yeah find a diary true or fictional this one is gonna be hard diary i don't like to read books that are diary theme or like something i don't think i have to be honest to be quite honest like i do have the vampire diaries but it's not really a diary i'm gonna go with I think maybe if we take it literally this is Stefan diary from uh, the vampire diaries does it count I think it is oh my god I forgot how the lettering on this was so bad yeah it's not it's it does look like a diary for sure though so I'm gonna go with this I do have the first three book too in this diary trilogy something it's not a trilogy but it's almost a trilogy like I think it's two separate trilogy which is weird but yeah I have the first three of it since the other three are discontinued I loved it when I was younger I was so mad the next prompt is find a book written by an author with a common name, like Smith. I do have a lot of books written by Smith, but I already showed you the both of them. So, I do have Blood Leaf that is written by uh, Crystal Smith, and I do have The Vampire Diaries that are written by L.G. Smith. So. But like a common name, I don't really know common name. Miller, Miller is common name. 
yeah, I'm gonna go Miller. Like the other one are like so. Like I'm French Canadian. I don't know English. Common name. Like an otter. It looks like otter or like. I don't have a common name, so suck up. Suck it up. I don't know. And Drake is not a common name. This is not a common name. Rex is not a common name. No. So I'm gonna go with Cersei by Madeline Miller. If I can take it out. Yeah, Cersei by uh, Madeline Miller. I don't know where Miller. I think Miller is a common name. I do. There is a lot of artists that name are like Miller. Maybe I'm just thinking about Mac Miller. I think Miller is a common name. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I really don't know, but yeah, Miller common name. Madeline Miller, and I had you have Cersei and the Song of Achilles. So, kind of fits. I don't know. <laughs> kind of it. So, I need to find a book with a close-up of something on it. Close-up of something on it. Close-up of something on it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This one will go. Oh my god, this is so bad. I should have gotten rid of my bumps before. The close up of a sword on the cover of J Fire Gold by June CL10. Yeah. So, this is the cover of a sword. It's not a dagger. It's a sword, and it's supposed to be longer, so it's a close-up for me. That fits it. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close-up. I got it. Hmm. Next is find a book on your shelf that took place in the earliest time period. Which I really don't know. Does the uh, Lady Midnight is like in the 600, like 1600, more like it. It's fantasy, y'all. I don't know when this takes place. Uh, I'm gonna go with one that I'm kind of sure, but not really. Why is it so hard? Oh, maybe. I know, I know, I am. I have it. I have it. Oh my god. The Song of Achilles. I got it. It's... It's written, I don't know. Uh, it's like... Before... Like, it's Greek mythology. But like it's set in like the war, the Trojan War, I think so. So it's kind of early in like Greek time, like 1600, no, not 1600, like 600 before Jesus Christ. Sign of Achilles, I guess. I'm really not sure when this takes place but this is like I think the oldest like not the oldest but like the one that takes place so like before our time I'm gonna go with that yeah the next uh, find a hardcover cover book without a jacket which I do have I think I have, I have a lot, 
I don't know if you, I, I'm not gonna take them out. But I do have Jade City, Jade War, and Jade Legacy, which is the Element Crate exclusive one. I'm gonna show a picture right here. It's naked hardcover, but they're so pretty. And I'm not gonna touch them and take everything apart. So yeah, I do have uh, this Woven Kingdom, which is like, it's naked hardcover. It's so pretty. It's like, oh my God. And yeah, this is a naked hardcover, but like a special edition. It's the Illuma Great one. And I do have a more like boring one, which is, is Bucky so stuck? I don't know if I can, I'll just try. I'll try my best. It's Catching Fire by, it's the second Hunger Game one. And this one is the plain one, like the hardcover. And I got it for free, so not mad. It's kind of in the ugly condition, if you can see. It's like, but yeah, I do, I don't have it in English. And the spine is broken, which I freaking hate, but yeah. I find it nice. I like the red book. It reminds me of the red book that like turn on the not turn on but like uh, gets the Winter Soldier inside Bucky. I'll show a picture right here. It's like I was in my Marvel era, so yeah, that's why I got it. So the next prompt is. Find a teal turquoise colored book, which is so hard, but not really. I think I have three, four. I do have a lot too, so it's not really. Oh, well, that is not stuck. Skin of the Sea by Natasha Bowen, which is teal, and this is the All Crate edition with the like gilded edges it's so pretty and even underneath the, the jacket it's like turquoise so teal ish and inside everything is turquoise since it's mermaid team so yeah i have my teal book right here the next prompt is find a book with a star on it which no, that doesn't have it. Uh, I don't know if this one fits, but I'll guess. Serpent and Dove, which has little dust. I don't really know. Star dust on the cover. I'll take that as, as a star. I don't really know if it's supposed to be magic or something. But it kind of looked to me like a little star. Or maybe... I don't know, does this one have like a starry night? No. Sweet Bitter Magic, I think. This is a star. So these two kind of fits the prompt. And this one is so pretty though. It's so pretty. Oh my. So yeah, stars and stars underneath. underneath. So yeah. Find a non Y book. And this is the last one. Find a non Y book. Which is, I think, the hardest, since I don't really know. <laughs> I do think um, a lot of my book are YA, but I'm gonna go with Sarah J Maas, 
like all of these. I do have her house, like Crescent City, both of them, and her a court of thorn and roses, which are new adult, adult, since they contain a lot of graphic scene. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm not sure, but I think they try to pin it as like YA, but it's not YA at all. But yeah, I'm gonna go with that. So this was my treasure hunt. Uh, what do you want? He wants to play. So yeah, this was my treasure hunt, my bookshelf treasure hunt. Hope you guys liked it and Actually, this is the last time you're gonna see this bookshelf. I'm gonna go redo it and I'm gonna do a, um, a video on it. So probably next video is like my reorganization bookshelf video. And yeah. So this is the end of the video. If you like the video, you can, uh, you can like the video and subscribe if you want to see more of my face. And yeah. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye!